recorded this afternoon. It's only about 12.30, 12.40 right now. It's been raining all morning. Uh, temperatures are in the 40s, but the highs are in the 40s too, so it's going to be a cool afternoon, and the rain should be getting out of here in the next uh, hour or two. Uh, I'm going to try to slip in here while it's still raining, get tucked in quietly, and uh, settle in and see what happens this afternoon. The rut, I think, is somewhat on, so hopefully they'll get to moving once this rain stops this afternoon.
received. I know I rushed it. The way he reacted, I'm pretty sure I got him, but... Dude, I shot. Dude, you took a shot at him? Uh, yeah, he was out, but dude, I just, I, you know, I got buck freaking favor, though, and I rushed it. I mean, I, yeah. I think yeah. I got yeah. him. Watching the footage back, I, I think I got him right in the shoulder. I don't like when a deer turns to take off, because sometimes that means you hit him low, I think, or that's been my experience. But it looks like it was kind of low in the shoulder, but not like... Hey, Hunter, Hunter and Nick, uh, y'all hear me? I hear you. Hunter, yeah, what's up? We are all three on the phone right now. <laughs> but it was one right. of those things, you know, classic. You pull the trigger, and you're, I'm already, I'm already looking outside the scope. It's like crap. <laughs> it's hard not to do that. But here, I'm about to, I'm, I'm about to get out of the call and take a video and send it to y'all. Then y'all call me back. All right. Man, I can see. You. Hey, is everybody there? I'm here. Oh, dude, he smoked. Hold on, I can't, I can't see. Hold on. Oh, he crumbled, dude. I think it's right in the crease. I think. No, Nick, you no, you got it. You, you think so? Nick, oh, Nick, I think you smoked it. You think it's right in the crease? Yes, yes. I think it's right in the freaking crease. It's right in the crease, Nick. All right, I'm just out. Get out here in the field. It's been at least 15 minutes since I shot. I don't even know if you can see me. Um. Got Patrick on the phone. Hunter maybe joining in in a second. Still sprinkle a little bit. It's been a cold one. I'm, I've been shivering the past two hours. Looking back at the footage, we think it's right in the crease. I rushed it. I was. I'm pretty sure I saw impact from outside the scope in my eyeball, but it. Uh, I may have got lucky. It's gonna to be tough to tell exactly how far because he, I mean, he pranced right on out here. I was just on the phone with a buddy of mine. Dude, let me call you right back. My brother's calling at 5 o'clock. It's serious. I said, if it's 5 o'clock, don't wait that. Don't wait that. <laughs> Guys, I see him. You got it, though. Do you? I see him. All right, well, here he is. No blood. He didn't run 50 yards. Good night. Let me get this camera set up here. I hadn't even put my hands on him yet. Let's see. shot his dang antler with the second shot look at this toad right here this deer I've had pictures of him shoot since early November for the past two weeks or so he's been so sporadic earlier in the year he was just about every night on my corn but he's been sporadic I guess maybe it's because he's rutting a little bit but he popped out in the middle of the field I guess just cruising I mean he wasn't shy at all he stepped out it was getting close to five o'clock I've been in the blind five hours I've been shivering the past two hours I underdressed a little bit but it was all worth it oh my goodness thank you Lord this is an absolute stud this may be my biggest God, such a pretty deer too absolute stud oh now I gotta get him out of here so pretty right there.